Welcome back to another episode of The Young and the Wash. Josh Palais with Travis Garner and our sitting guest for the day, Dave Palais. Not Alonzo Wright, obviously. <laughs> Look a little bit different. A little bit different. <laughs> the surgery went well. <laughs> all right, we're going to kick it off with some quick hitters, all right? So start with you. Oh, okay. You ever get wa- caught watching porn by your parents? <laughs> Dude, it wasn't like what you guys go through today. We didn't have the internet when I was, you know, a young teenager. So, no, it's funny you say that. The first time I ever saw porn, though, was my dad went on a trip to L.A., and then I was living in Tennessee at the time, and he came back with two VHS tapes. Oh. And I remember it was then Stationable 1 and then Stationable 2, and I've never seen a porn in my life. And then all of a sudden, I'm looking at Marilyn Chambers, who's looking at the gardener outside the window, and then next thing you know, she's on a goddamn bumper pool table. I'm like, who's decided to film this? Like, it's hard enough, I imagine having sex on a pool table, but we're going to do it on a bumper pool table? We're going to go all crazy? And then all of a sudden, she invites the gardener in. And in, in my mind, because I've never didn't know what the hell is about to happen, I'm thinking she's going to kill this guy with one of those billiards balls, you know, Look, hit him right in the temple. <laughs> of course not. And then next thing you know, she's nailing the gardener. And nice. I'm, and yeah. And I'm going, holy shit. Full what? bush or what for that time? Um, yeah. She, 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 yeah, she yeah. had the bush going. Yeah, and so. Classy. Um, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, holy shit. And next thing you know, I had to call up two friends and, and. And they weren't guys that I called up. I called up these two girls nice. down the street. Oh. Holy shit, you got to see this. Good move. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thank God they didn't go running back to tell their parents that yeah. uh, that freaks started uh, showing us porn. But, man, I tell you what, as, dude, I was maybe 12 years old yeah. when this happened. It's a good time. Okay. 12 years old, you don't know anything. I mean, you go to health class and stuff, but they don't talk about money shots. <laughs> I mean, dude, we were like, what the fuck just happened? What's that coming out of there? And yeah, we're completely freaked out. All three of us were looking at each other like, holy shit, dude, what, what just happened here? We, none of us knew. Like Spider-Man, hum- huh? When yeah, it comes like, out. Yeah, yeah, like the human body worked. Like, what the hell just happened here? That's hilarious. Yeah. You ever get caught? Yeah, I mean, uh, definitely because the viruses, because it's computer oh, yeah, viruses. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just remember the, you know, the funny thing for me, the first time I noticed, or like, I just noticed that my, my, my dick was getting hard, but I, <laughs> but like, I didn't know what that felt like. Yeah. You know, I didn't understand what it was. So like, I was like, dude, what the fuck is going on? Like, this feels weird, but like, wow. I, and I, funny enough, I was like, Ayo, Diego. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go show your brother. I had to show my Stop, brother. Bro. Yeah, bro. I had to show my brother and, uh. He was way too young to see that shit, so he was probably <laughs> trying to tie it. But like, I just remember being like, "Damn, like that, like what the fuck is this?" Like, first I was I knew, like freaked out, and then I was like, "Oh, so yeah." But I was introduced very young. I was humping pillows when I was like ten. Yeah. So like, yeah, I was. I was like a fucking dog. Like, yeah. No, nah, I feel you. Wait, wait, wait. How old are you when you watch some porn? Uh, I probably I was like eleven when I found out. Okay. Yeah, but I was like humping like I was humping pillows and shit to like you know toxic video by like you know Britney Spears and shit like that. You got to start my, somewhere. My third grade teacher, I don't want to put her out because I actually saw her you know, oh, not Jesus. too long ago. Oh, God, but I fucking loved her. <laughs> I fucking loved her. All right, could you be could you be at the chick that was into like weird porn, like weird shit, like like, like tying like, like tying you up, like nah, dude, no. That, that what's that shit thing. called? Dom, bom, dom Dominatrix. Like, yeah, Wolf of Wall Street when when he has yeah like the, like the, like the burning mm-hmm. the wax. Yeah, uh, yeah. Stuff like, ugh, you, you can never be with the chick that was into that nah, weird shit. Dude, it told me to put a goddamn ball in my mouth and shit. Uh, no. What if she was like super hot though? Like ten out of ten. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, dude. No way. Mm. Nah, um, I did. I, how about you, I would ne- hold on a second. I, 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 I would never let a girl honestly tie me to a bed. Like I wouldn't really. I, I would. Do, I would do it. Really? Yeah. What don't you take your goddamn wallet and then what are you gonna do? What if it's my girlfriend? Yeah. Okay, I'm just saying. You never know. You might think things are going well. I've been through this before. Next thing you know, the last shot is I'm taking his wallet and I'm punching him in the nuts, and his parents are going to find him fucking you spread watch, eagle on a goddamn bed. Because you, you watch wedding crashers, story. dude. Yeah, yeah, like with, wedding crashers. Yeah, with Todd. Yeah. yeah. 100% yeah. right. Nah, like dude. If, if J-Lo said, Travis, I'm, I'm about to put this ball in your mouth and tie you up, shh, we're game. You're going to do yeah, it? I'm going to do it. 100%. 100%. I'm going to put a ball in your mouth. <laughs> 100%. Could you ever be with a girl that transitioned? Oh Jesus! I'm sorry, I can't. All rights though. All rights. I'm all for rights. Yeah, I could. All rights. Like if Caitlyn Jenner was like real hot, you couldn't. No, nah, you couldn't. Like had I, money and all everything. No. Nah, nah. nah. What about you? No. Why not? Dude, I, I, could, <laughs> I, 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 I could. Again, man, I'm all for it. as long as you live a happy, healthy life 100%. and and basically you don't try and and tell me how I should live my life. I'm all for it. I think everybody deserves the right to be happy. But no, it would not be my thing. Okay, can you be in a relationship with somebody before having sex? I'll say that again. Yeah, what? Could you date somebody before having sex? Like, be in a relationship. Like, you don't know if they're good at having sex. It could be terrible sex, but you're not oh, asking them to be your girlfriend before. 
I, yeah, I've done that. I've done that. I've yeah. done probably all of them like that. Like, I mean, it's a huge gamble. It is, man, but it's a lot easier to get laid now at your age than it was even when I was a kid. I mean, yeah, guys always talked about getting laid and stuff, yeah. but most guys yeah. were talking and bullshitting. Um, it seems like it's a lot easier nowadays for what you guys go through. Being in a relationship is a big deal. If, if you know, she sucks in the sack, you move on. There's no financial commitment. Yeah. But, dude, you got to, if that's what it takes to say, hey, she's great and, and she, everything, we've done everything but this as far as hanging out and get along and then find out she lays there like a sack of potatoes, you're like, all right. Could you marry a girl that lays there like a sack of potatoes? No. No. Couldn't, right? For the rest of your life? You, can you coach that? Can you teach them to be better? Uh, who knows? I think you can coach. I you think, can coach I think them. You can coach. Yeah. I was about to say, I like to think that I choose women that, like, I already think you're hot enough that, like, honestly, if I just beat it from the back for the rest of my life, I'm satisfied. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, for me, <laughs> so, so it's just, that's just how I, like, you're not so much like, not saying that's the only sex I do, but I'm just saying that, like, I set myself up for success, but I'm not going to be disappointed. So at least that I can satisfy myself yeah. if necessary. So if she doesn't know how to ride that thing, like, you know, like fucking Mia Malkova, you know what I'm saying? Then it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Good for you, man. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Let's take a step back again. <laughs> I got to catch up as I'm trying to, I need the, the Travis English dictionary. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay. Wait, you, the first thing you said was if you're just doing it from behind, is that what you said? For the rest of, yeah, uh, for so rest I, of time. I, so, so I'm saying yeah. that, like, I set my, like, I would pick the woman yeah. that, like, I, she's hot enough to me that, yeah. like, you don't have to be. She doesn't have to do any work. Yeah, if she just you, gets you, on all like, fours, I mean, you're course, in. Yeah, exactly. Like, you, you could throw the Laker game on a watch over the back of her head and do your thing. 100%. 100%. Good for you. <laughs> 100%. All right, last question. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen in someone's house? Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's a good question. Let's see. Something that I've seen in someone's house that's maybe gone, what the fuck are they into? Yeah. Mm. I mean, I always think it's weird when people have, like, skulls. You ever meet in someone's house as a skull? Yeah. I and think it, when you have too many Jesuses around, it's kind of weird. Funny enough, you just said that, you know, not to call my girlfriend out, but they, you know, there's a bunch of Jesuses everywhere. But the one Jesus... Do they look alike? Because my wife's family used to have a bunch of Jesuses, but none of them looked alike. Like, some look like Mel some Gibson. Do, most of them have <laughs> long like, hair. Who's that? Most of them it's have the long hair. Most yeah. of them have the flow and the yeah. brown flow. You know, yeah. most of that. But they have like this five and a half foot Jesus in the kitchen. That freaked me out. And it's fucking huge. And I remember the first time I saw it, I was just like, what the fuck? Like, Jesus. Like, you know, like he's here. Like, you know? But yeah, that is, that's not a red flag, but just like... I don't know. But wait, hold on. Five and a half foot Jesus? It's huge. Hold it's on. Huge. You say that now. I have this theory about Jesus, all right? Now people are going to get really mad. Okay. I think five and a half feet's tall for Jesus. Think about that's, it. That's, if you go back, and look, look how people are. I mean, you go back 100 years ago to Fenway Park, okay, where the Boston Red Sox play. Okay. It is built for the average man being five foot seven, 135 pounds. That's why it's so getting uncomfortable. Now look, a hundred years later, look how big all of us are. That's true. Yeah. So I mean, Jesus being five foot five might have been like Yao Ming back then. Like that, <laughs> that, that's pretty big. Could you hook up with a girl that had like a bunch of Jesuses looking at you? Would you I've, have to turn their heads I've, down? I've beat cheeks with Jesus right over the bed. That doesn't freak you out though. No. You don't care. I'm blessed. I know people that can't. <laughs> <laughs> I know people that can't have sex if their family pictures are like looking at them, like the girl's yeah, mom. No Who way. does that? That's they have, a to, weird they have to turn the pictures what the, down. What do they do? Looking at them? They think so. Oh, they think the mom's God. looking at Get them. Over that shit. No. I'm not. I'm not doing. I'm it. not really. I, don't, no, I, I would never do the that. Picture down. I don't. You flip it. it down. I would 100. percent He just said I'm. I wouldn't. Why what do you do? You sit picture. there. You sit there and do your business and go the things I'm about to do to your daughter. You talk shit to the picture. I look Jesus in the eye and have a conversation. Wait. You, wait, you really flip all the pictures down? I've never been in that situation, but, but you would. Yes, Why? I, or I turn the lights off where I can't see them. It would freak me out. I don't give a fuck. I don't think. I don't think I could stay excited, dude. I'm in the zone. If I'm sitting there, <laughs> if I'm sitting over there and I'm looking at Aunt Trudy and shit staring at me, <laughs> fuck that, dude. All right. The top story of the week is obviously Will Smith open palm slapping <laughs> Chris Rock. Travis, did you like the move? Do you dislike the move? What do you What do you think about that? All right. So. Because I don't want to be wishy-washy because I have, like, a certain opinion on this. I, I, says, I guess I'll go off my first opinion. I don't like how people were like, yeah, Will Smith, like, fuck yeah. Like, it was the thing to do. Like, it was yeah. so cool. Like, don't talk about my bitch. Fuck yeah. yeah. Like, people get smacked up, you know what I'm saying? Which I kind of did like. I like that a little bit. I was like, yeah. So, probably, like, don't talk about my woman. I'll smack the shit out of you. Because yeah. people can still get smacked up. People think they can say whatever they want. 
But for the setting, but then the part that I didn't like is that, like, just because all of a sudden, like, a few celebrities, a couple other people, like, oh, it's not the right thing to do. Like, celebrities well, are really I, upset I, I, about I, I, it. Yeah, yeah, I feel like the narrative changed, like, real fucking quick. Like, and I was just like, where's this energy? Like, where? I don't like that people keep the same fucking energy I'm, from the jump. I hear 100%. Twitter was on Will Smith's side. 100%. Celebrities were on Chris Rock's side, and it completely and it, flipped whoop, everything. And I was just like, where, what happened? Because, because... For the Oscars purposes, you're right. Like, people get shit on all the fucking time. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if you guys been on I just heard that Leonardo DiCaprio joke that that British guy said, like, by the time, like, this movie started at the premiere, by the end, the, the uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's date was too, old, was too old for him. Or oh. something like that. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. that's bad. Like, you know? But, like, I feel like people in their industry, like, they should know. Like, when you go to these things, just like at the You can SBs, get roasted, yeah. You're going to get fucking roasted. Like, you know? So, I do think it was a little immature. By the same time, like, fuck it. Do you think the he joke crossed the line about her alopecia? It just sucks because she did have a medical thing. But the joke's but, like, not that bad. I don't it, it, know, but, yeah, bro. I don't think it was that. It, it wasn't, wasn't. It didn't it warrant an open no, palm no, slap. It, no. it didn't warrant it. But a part of me, like, I like the energy that he gave, though. So, I can't lie about that. Okay, what about you? What do you think about the well, whole here's thing? Here's the deal. She came out with the alopecia as this is brave. Like she shared what was going on in her life. And she so for her, what I did took a lot of courage. And I'm going to go out. I'm going to go public with this. She usually could have wore a wig or did something else and hid it from everybody because she didn't want to be seen without hair. For a woman to be without their hair is, is a big deal. When he told the joke the first time, Will Smith, we all saw him laughing his laughing, ass off. Yeah, he did. They showed her face and she was pissed off. And you know when the camera went back to Chris Rock, somewhere between there, that's where she said to him, you're going to laugh at that? You aren't going to defend your wife? And then he was stuck in, all right, I'm going to do something right now. Mm -hmm. And then he obviously got up on stage. We saw what happened. He open hand slapped Chris Rock, who weighs maybe 140 pounds. Yeah. I don't even know if he took two steps backwards after yeah. getting hit. Yeah. Which shows, more than anything to me, I can't watch uh, uh, Will Smith in another movie where he's a <laughs> is an action guy or yeah. supposed to be anything that can defend himself. He has to be the softest guy in Hollywood. Dude, you know what movie was on my wa watch list? Was the fucking Muhammad Ali movie. Oh, I'm like, I'm never going to watch that ever. This Don't guy can't bother. fucking take down Chris can't, Rock. Can't find a cold. Yeah, you know, the, the thing, the reason why I thought the slot was weak is if you look at his stance, he had his <laughs> it's right hilarious, foot forward. Bro. He had his right foot forward. Yeah. I can't, at least for me purposes, you have to go left foot forward. Exactly. If yeah. I'm going to smack the shit out of someone, I'm going left foot back, and I'm getting a full like hip twist, like a full yeah. dip. Because Chris Rock's and not going to move. No, exactly. Yeah. He's not gonna, he's not gonna he, he would never forward. expect that. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I did think, and maybe Will Smith knew possibly that he wasn't like smacking the shit out of him, but I'm not. No, I think he smacked the shit out of him. I think he tried to take him out. That was the best he could do. Because it was most, it was almost like he pushed his hand like you know like almost like the palm instead of like a like the fingers he know? went all the yeah i know yeah. what you mean but yeah like i'm almost like a push but yeah, i, I think know. if he should if you really wanted to send a message you go for the nuts you go for the nuts give him the old dick twist huh <laughs> give him the old dick twist, <laughs> <laughs> dick twist his dick. but he should have took his nuts out because he has to keep talking you can't yeah. keep talking with bad nuts you yeah. know like the face you can recover you know what as, as you're walking you're up the there night. you know you're gonna do something yeah all right and you're thinking you know if i really want to take him out it's a closed fist right exactly. for sure exactly. it's a closed for sure. fist. so he goes to lap and chris rock barely moves who's yeah. tiny yeah and you're going what the hell was this all about? I mean, so many people thought it was fake because I the contact was, was, was I, weird. Thought, I thought it was fake a hundred percent. And so when, yeah, when it was all said and done and he sits back down and, and I, I'm sitting there watching at first, I didn't know what happened. I was reading on Twitter and I thought, Hey, good for him defending his family. I know I would defend my family. <laughs> and then when the whole thing goes through and the, the night's over and everybody's talking about Will Smith, like they still are right now, you start realizing he stole everybody's night. You know, all the people that work in the movie industry, he he took everybody's night. And so when the Academy's like, oh, we're going to punish him, what are you going to do? You gave him God dang actor of the year. You know, you can't okay. say we aren't going to invite you back ever again. I thought it was OG how he got yeah. the award, too. I was like, fuck, he went back I up mean, and got an Oscar. The way, like, honest to God, cool. the, minute, the minute you win an actor of the year award, you go from making, let's say, $20 million a picture to $40 million a picture. I mean, he, his, his price tag went through the roof. Same with Chris Rock. Chris Rock yeah. right now is selling out all over the country because people want to hear what he has to say. I mean, like a really tickets, good thing for Chris Rock's career. Yeah, there was an average ticket to see Chris Rock in concert right now is over $800. Wow. What do you think his, what do you think Chris Rock's opinion is on this whole thing? You think, think he's upset about I've it? He's you think, hurt. I mean, he's I've heard hurt. that he's like, he's like, he's like upset about it in a sense that like. Best yeah. thing to ever happen to him. I was about to say, it's like a good thing though. At the end of the day. Everybody What's, in Hollywood's on his side. Yeah. I, I mean, I think it's good for him, but I've heard that like, I've heard that like, yeah, he's upset about it. I yeah. heard like I got sources, but you know. Dude, you don't piss me off people like Amy Schumer that are like traumatized. God. No, don't are you an Amy Schumer God. fan? Don't get me fucking started. 
I fucking saw that shit the other day on, on I was like, you stupid white bitch, bro. I was just like, oh my God. I'm sorry, dog. I was just like, get the fuck out of here with that shit, bro. Is anybody more unlikable than Amy Schumer, bro? I know a lot. I do, and that's the thing. I don't even not like the bitch like that. Like, I can't no, stand I, her. I, I don't mind her. I, I, I don't. I really don't. Like, I have no preference. I, like, and that's how I know that. Like, my feeling is just genuine. Like, who the fuck? Like, what the fuck were you traumatized about? Like, you think that like? And number one, if someone walks up to you and gets with it, it, within three feet. Are your hands not automatically coming up? Like, as a man, as an individual? He leaned into it. I don't care what sit, setting you're in. If anyone walks straight towards me, my hands are coming up at, at three feet. Like, three feet, it's like, what do I, Bob, Ricky Bobby, what do I do with my hands? You <laughs> yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm, they're coming up. Like, you know, but back to the, the Amy Schumer, that's so fucking weak. Get that fucking <laughs> trash out of here. It's fucking dumb. Uh, thank, thanks for bringing that shit up. Yeah, that's fucking. Fan. I'm, not an Amy Schumer fan. <laughs> I'm not an Amy Schumer fan. The funny thing about I, I don't even know who her audience is because I don't know anyone that is an Amy Schumer single fan. women. Is it? Yeah, like that can't women? get dates and shit because she no. talks about ugly uh, talks about women that can't get dates. Um, so yeah. All right. Something that we were talking about earlier is what's the worst pranks you've pulled on people? And I know yours are a little bit different, but you were saying when you were a kid, yeah, you made somebody's ass bleed. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a bad way to start it. Thing is, I, I hate pranks. I'll be honest with you. I'm not a prank guy. Like, I hate April Fool's Day. Like, yeah. I hate all that bullshit. I think this is dumb. But I, I don't like pranks because a lot of times it will ruin friendships. But when I was in college at San Diego State, um, it was my buddy who, who I grew up with and then another person lived there. So three of three guys in one apartment. Yeah. And um, we had this idea that my buddy made every Friday night, he made spaghetti. Okay. <laughs> every fucking Friday night, he made spaghetti. So we take x lax and we put it in his gut we grind it up and we put it in spaghetti sauce and he wow. mixes it up then he made a thing of brownies and he fucking made himself dinner and then we uh we're looking at each other the two guys that know and we don't see any reaction and we're like oh, shit we didn't put enough in there so the next friday when we go fucking all out no. everything we throw it all in there no oh. and then you could have killed him Oh, dude, I know. You Literally, dude, down. I know. Double I, when I've told people the story, especially doctors, go, dude, you could have killed him. Like, you could have caused even kidney disease from him. Yeah. And, um, dude, he he was shitting so much, dude, that honestly, he was in that bed, did not leave for a week, and he would just tell me, dude, you got to go get me toilet paper. You got to get me toilet paper. And he's just like, be curled up in a ball, dude, all week long. Here comes Thursday, the following week, and he's still there, and he's like, Dude, my ass won't stop bleeding. And I'm like, oh, my God, dude. So I, I told my my buddy, I said, dude, no matter what, this story stays between us. We never tell him what we did. He's going to get us back. Then I don't screw around. And a few years ago, my buddy told him. And he goes, oh, I thought, why not? It's time has passed. And he's called me. He goes, you motherfucker. Dude, he goes, it was, it was such a bad experience. He goes, he goes I think it might have taken years off my life. He, he's still mad. So oh I know God, at some dude. point this guy is not over it. He's probably going to get both of us back. It's like going to be one of the like, equalizer three. <laughs> Denzel Watson is going to take us out. Some bullshit. But yeah, it was one of those. I'm like, man, we carried that prank way too far that yeah. this guy was fucked up. But he, for the funny thing was he thought it was the brownies he was making. We'd walk through the grocery store, and every time he saw those brownies on the shelf, he'd go, oh, shit. There they are. <laughs> he would do that. He thought it was the brownies that he was allergic to. But he didn't realize we poisoned his, his spaghetti sauce. Yeah. What about you, Travis? you ever do anything weird at all? Yeah, I've done weird things, unfortunately. Weird and gay things. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what are gay things? Yeah, so... You know, notorious. It all started definitely with the uh, Fresno football camp. That was the infamous one. And um, you know, I don't want to like brag or say like I have a, a a big dog or anything like that. But at the time, it was I was probably a little bit more mature than my friends, so it was bigger than the average. Individual. Travis was known for that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I had the bright idea, of course, of um, you know making a sandwich in a sense, and um, I put my dick in the middle of the sandwich and I'd go up to people's doors and knock on them and then pretty much like run into the room <laughs> and they, who wants a cock meat sandwich like, <laughs> yeah that was good stuff yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. everyone freaking the hell out uh, you know run at them with it <laughs> everyone <laughs> screaming and shit it was funny as fuck I remember at one point I had like a crowd of four people like that they like watch because they understand because it's just door after door after door like what's you know what's the noise and then people see what I'm doing they're like God this guy this is fucking hilarious <laughs> and they want to see people's reactions and that was good. Um, 
What was another one? Uh, well, not, <laughs> with the soda can? Oh, this, uh, not the soda oh, can. What was it? it was like the, they had cups, like they had like Pepsi cups and I'd cut the bottom out. <laughs> I cut, <laughs> I'd cut the bottom out and I kind of do the same thing except I just like shake it. <laughs> and and run out people and shit, that was good stuff. But, yeah. That's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people get freaked out. It was great. I got my eyebrow cut off at football camp. Like one whole eyebrow. I, I was a, pissed. I have a funny one that I wasn't a Wait, part of. Wait, you fell asleep and someone shaved your eyebrow? Yeah. No way. Yeah. The, Which one? Sophomore year, tight end, oh, the one that everybody disliked, that played on our basketball team. Uh, oh no way! Yeah. What a piece of shit! He was a piece of shit. Yeah, he was. Yeah. I have a funny prank. Somebody they cheese whizzed me too. They cheese whizzed my face. Fucking poor Dad, bro. Fucking. That, I was in the. That was my room. That was your room. You were Wait, in no, he came in and cried and slept on our floor. You, want me to, or you got you this tell story. a story. You tell a story, man. So it's me and three buddies, senior <laughs> year football camp. We're just sitting around our beds talking, and we get a knock on our door. We're like, "Who would that be?" You know, it's, it's like midnight. It's Kid Devereaux Williams. <laughs> he's his last name, too. Sorry. He's, a, he's our friend. Christ. He's our friend. He's a great guy. Great, great guy. Comes in, he's crying. I'm like, bro, what happened? He, he just like, oh, just lays on our floor <laughs> crying. All broken. Yeah, all broken. I'm like, we're all sitting on our beds. Like, dude, what happened? He's like, somebody just on my pillow. <laughs> and I'm like, what? He's like, dude, somebody came all over my pillow. I'm like, is that the same pillow? He's like, yeah. I'm like, why would you get a new pillow, bro? What's wrong with you? No, so he left the room and just brought his jizz pillow yeah, in your room? Yeah, he stepped on a jizz pillow in our, in our bed. I was talking about when they put like Tabasco oh. in his <laughs> My bad. Like sleeping and they put like Tabasco sauce in his own. It was either him or some other kid. Probably I, him. I think it was him, but they put Tabasco no, Tabasco sauce in his nose while he was sleeping. Oh, fuck. Yeah. No, that's yeah, fucked he, up. Like, fucking woke up like fucking choking, <laughs> <laughs> choking on fucking vinegar. You know what I'm saying? I'm a big fan of Tabasco, but good God, like that shit, that's just lethal. Dude, look back when we used to... Our friend Gabe used to choke people out. Remember that? Put him to sleep. Oh yeah, he put people to sleep. That was dangerous as fuck. Yeah, we did that. Little remember girls like in like in elementary school, fucking Alina and them fucking used to fucking do this weird thing where you take like a couple deep breaths. Or yeah, yeah. Like and fucking like push them and like, like exhaling, like knock you the fuck out. Oh, they used to do that shit in the bathroom, fucking weirdos. It's crazy. Yeah. We put a kid in a sleeper hold one time in middle school. We just walked up behind him and put his arm up against his ear and then <laughs> choked him out. And then we thought it was funny to put people out and then they were late to class and shit, you know. <laughs> And then we did it one day, and this kid started having seizures right oh, in the no. hallway, and we all just took off running, and Dude, we did it again. When I was in middle school, I was taking a piss, and some kid's like, hey, Josh, and he like barely taps me in the back. And I was like, fucking fuck Ray, this guy. Fucking Ray used to do that to me all the fucking time in the bathroom, bro. I remember one time I pissed on myself. That's dog. the whole point. So Either you're going to yeah. bang your nose into so the wall. Fucking, you pissed on yourself? I fucking pissed on That's like fucking like 10 years old in YMCA camp. Oh, yeah, my we God. We do that all the time. Push oh it right in the back. God. Well, what he, I was going to say is he, 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 he barely tapped me. I was fine. And then uh, I, I went to go wash my hands. He went to take a piss. I pushed him hard. He pissed all <laughs> over himself. <laughs> and he went to the rest of the That was like first period, bro. He had pissed all over himself for the rest of the day. Yeah. Oh, I felt bad about that one. No. He started it. Yeah, he started it. The worst thing I've ever done is throw a party at my neighbor's house. But besides that... Um, Which was legendary, by the way. Thank you. I appreciate it. Was it. Super. It was, yeah. it was awesome. Hey, until they were watching it on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad. And, call it, and watching, then calling speak, me. Speaking of catching, watching porn, even though no one caught us, but they were watching fucking HBO film after the, after the party. They were watching it right there in the living room. I remember that. Yeah. I completely forgot yeah. about that. Oh, that's bad. Um, <laughs> that's bad. Dude... <laughs> One time, me and, like, five friends, we unloaded, like, three cartons of eggs on a kid's house that we know. And then we put um, bird seeds in his front lawn. And then we put bologna on his car to take the paint off. Dude, and then we put the dish fuck? soap in the lawn, too. So he had, like, weird... How? That's disrespectful. It was bad, yeah. bro. We He had, like, weird, like, fucking roots growing out with fucking... It was all bubbly. Like, it ruined his whole weekend, he said. Well, no yeah. shit. Yeah, <laughs> fucked up. Fucked so up I'm his car. Like, took the, dude, I said it was a bad mistake. I've egged, I've egged some... I've, I've egged some houses. Has your sure. house ever got egged? Mine no, got egged a few no. times. Oh, really? No. It's because you're a gated community. Exactly, at the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah. I don't know. That's all I have. No, I'm not a vandalism guy. That's the only thing. I hate when people mess with other people's stuff. Yeah, the egg thing is ridiculous. I you know, you never funny. egged somebody's house? No, nah, I've done the toilet paper thing. It's pretty bad, too. I had a buddy of mine who was so good at it. You know, he would, he'd make me nervous. We'd, we'd live in Tennessee at the time because there's a ton of trees. So you throw that. I'm mean, none of the bullshit in San Diego. You don't even have to get a ladder yeah. to get it out. <laughs> But you throw it up in the trees, and then my buddy would literally knock on the door. And the guy'd come to the door at like two in the morning and go, Look what the fuck we just did to your house. He would wait for the guy. And boom, we would take off running. And it was, it was I mean, unfortunately, that kid passed away at a young age. And the guy in the church says, One thing about Michael, he was great at rolling houses. Legendary. <laughs> no was like, way. One of the things they mentioned. Yeah, he did it all the time. And then the grocery store always knows. You know, who's buying 64 rolls of toilet paper? Jeez. Dude, one of my good friends, the last thing I'll say is they filled his muffler with little donuts, donut holes, and fucked up his whole car. 
No way. Yeah, they stuffed little donut holes in his mu- in his muffler and it's fucked up his car. I'm not about trying to ruin people's like Ca- stuff like that. Yeah. I'm just trying to like get a, like a quick laugh out, you know. Yeah, saying? you can't fuck up their whole house yeah. like I did. Yeah. <laughs> we used to do harmless shit too. We used to do the fake jump rope and pull the thing. Cars would stop. Oh, I got We'd take prank. cars. We'd I got take a cars. funny. I got a funny prank that happened to me in, in the homie Gomez. We got saran wrapped in his car. So we were, we were we fell asleep in his whip. We fell asleep in his whip outside, outside of my house. And um, the homie Brandon Aaron had a friend that lived right next to me. I forgot his name. But they noticed that we were asleep in the car. They were going to wrap the car regardless. But then when they found out we were in the car, they're like, dude, legit. And they saran wrapped the whole fucking car. And when obviously I woke up, I'm like, all right, dude, like I'm going to go home. And I try to push the door open and it won't move. And we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and it was funny enough, and of course, we weren't even smart enough to just roll down the window. Yeah, like, that's what I, I was thinking. I, I, I went out the fucking sunroof. <laughs> I went out the sunroof and climbed on top of the car and then took the saran wrap off. Yeah. That's hilarious. It was, that's good. Yeah, it was good. That was good. <laughs> All right. Well, that was another episode of The Young and the Wash. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Peace.